Hi, my name's Phil from Front of Fix. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at fixing this Sony XZ1 Xperia. For more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. And if you do like this video, then please give me that thumbs up. Also, if you want to support this channel, then please contribute to my Patreon page, which I'll put the link down there. Let's go. So here we have a Sony XZ1 Xperia. Uh, it was given to me in this condition. Um, it's a little bit poor. It's got a dent on the top there. Um, at some point, it's got some sticky, so the screen has actually been stuck on. As you saw in the opening video, the screen just falls off. What happened was it was given to someone to repair it and they didn't really stick the screen down correctly so the screen shot off and tore off the actual part of the ribbon cable that connects to the screen connector here also when my friend got it back the main speaker that sits down here was missing and the earpiece speaker that goes in there was missing and the plate that protects it all had no screws in whatsoever so this basically is the condition and i'm hoping that it all still works uh, I have a replacement speaker, a replacement earpiece and a replacement screen all to go on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop these back in place and just before I actually put them in permanently we'll just do a little bit of testing and we'll just see whether it works. Okay let's power it on and see whether it works. buzzed so aha here we go so that's looking good so yep so that's looking good so what I'm gonna do now is let me just test the speakers so the speaker works I won't go too long because I don't want to hit any copyright so yep the speakers working so I've just tested the uh, small internal speaker as well and the earpiece that now works as well so that's really good so let's power it off and let's get it back together properly okay this speaker um, the way it actually works is if you see the two metal pieces on there so it's got a piece there and a piece there and they, when pushed in, touch on there and there to make the contact. Very similar to this bottom speaker, if I pop this speaker out, this speaker there has got contact there and the contact there. And the back of the speaker again, as you can see, has got the contact there and the contact there. But the good thing about this one is this speaker hooks onto the edge of the board here and also then screws down. That secures that speaker. This speaker looks like it actually sticks to the screen and is then pressed down when the screen's glued down. So I'm not <laughs> getting that one right. I'm assuming you just need to line it up perfectly there and then it will work in that position there, but we'll have to see. So this metal plate again goes over everything and of course goes over this speaker. So this speaker needs to go in first. Make sure it's hooked underneath which it is. Yeah. And then strangely with these you'll have to connect the battery back up, then screw the plate on. Then we can fit the screen on top. So now Fortunately, I've only got two screws because all the screws were lost as well. So I'm going to put one of the screws where that speaker is, obviously to hold the speaker onto the contacts. And then the other screw I'll put in the opposite corner. It should be alright because obviously when the screen's glued down then it ain't going anywhere after that. Just make sure that's fully down. I'd say it wasn't fully down. I think there's some 
tape on there. That's fine. Don't fit into that screw hole. Closing that one up. Right. So that's the metal plate. So hopefully that'll be enough. Now, do I take the chance that that fits exactly over that slot? Which I think it will. So I'll do I'll uncover this. And I'll stick this. It's got a peel off sticker. And obviously the pins want to be at the bottom. So it needs to stick on like that. But it's got to be exact. So what I'll do is I think is unpeel it and then line it up there and stick it down if I'm wrong I'm just going to see if I can put a little pencil mark on the edge so that's the edge so that I know equal distance either side Awkward to film and do this at the same time, but mm. all right. So I've, I've made a couple of pencil marks on there and there, so I need to get that in between those marks. And I'll have to do the same for the length of it, so I'm gonna know it's exactly in the middle. So it's gonna be there. Okay, so if you can see those on the camera, but I've, so I've made four pencil marks now there, 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 and there. As long as I get this speaker in between all those pencil marks, then that should be okay. So let's go with that. So let's get me. So don't get any finger marks on it. Just use these. So I can take that off. So now it exposes that. So now contacts going downwards and line up so what do, let's just see if that does fit in there There's nothing there. That doesn't make sense. That's, that'd have to fit way lower. Yeah, look. So as you probably see, when you're looking there, you can see the speaker part, but look at the gap here. So if I lower that, speaker part's going to be down here somewhere. That doesn't make sense to me. That comes off now. I've got some more sticky tape, if not I can always re-stick. I'm going to do is I'm going to push that in there in the position it needs to be in and we'll push the, the screen down on top of it let's try it that way so
camera works because the cam wasn't working before and that speaker works better so power it on so that's working now that's fine so let me just test the uh, front facing camera camera's working okay and front camera's working okay so that's good so power off again and what we'll do now is we need to get the screen fitted correctly so to do that I have the sticky here which is the Sony Xperia XZ1 screen bonding adhesive So first of all, what I'm probably going to need to do is I'm just going to need to clean around the edge here to make sure there's no residue sticky on there. Which it looks pretty clean to be honest. I'll use some uh, isopropyl alcohol just to go around the edge. Then let's have a look at what this is trying to tell us. So that's the right way up. So if I put that on that way, that looks like that's a square for that to go in. But why would you need to have a square? There's a square there and there's a funny U shape down here. Turn the other way up. There's nothing U shaped down there that, that can match to. And there's nothing square over here that can match to. If I turn it round, then there is that for that. There is a U to nothing and a square to nothing down there. But I don't think it matters because it's just one oblong shaped skit sticky so that's uh, that's a long edge or a short edge so let's try it like this okay so final check Speaker in place, that's clear, that's clear, right, so let's remove this sticky here, right, sticky in place, so now we attach the screen, Good. Peel off the screen, and this bit should come off as well. Like so, reveal a name that they can't sell them like that. And there we go. So let's do one final test. Power it on. Yeah. So just check that we can uh, make that 
call again. To the Plusnet mobile voice. The person you have called is unavailable. Very good. Speaker. On the camera. Rear camera. Front camera. Yeah, all good. Fantastic. So there we go. So what we'll do is now I'll just give this a little bit of a clean up and I'll just get rid of some of this sticky off the back here. perfectly working Sony XZ1 Xperia. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications and give me that thumbs up. Until the next time, take care.